what up what up we feel what up y'all we what it do welcome back to the we feel y'all welcome to you if you new hey welcome to you too my name is la la t and i am a spiritual reader a channel messenger bringing messages from the spirit i need to put some lip gloss on beloved I don't know why it seems like every time we sit down, lips be dry like uh, Sahara or something like that. But um, like we were saying, we are a spiritual reader, a channeled messenger, bringing messages from the spirit, from the Alpha, the Omega, yes, uh, the infinite intelligence, wisdom, the principal thing, infinite intelligence, breathing, I be, word, resurrecting, new day, I say. The breath of life is here. We have a host of spiritual, uh, yes, the breath. Thank you. The dynamic duo, the word and the breath, it moves on the breath. The word moves on the breath. Yes. Um, <laughs> I had to get that out right. I feel like I rushed past it and the breath was like, wait a minute, you ain't just going to be rushing past the Holy Spirit. Like, we ain't going to do that. We need that to be animated in this God body, right? Give it, give it reverence. Yes. Reverence. Yes. Thank you for the gift of breathing. Just breathe, beloved. Oh. Just breathe. Yes. We gonna light our little white candles too. Um, we just shuffled the table. So all the cards out here that you guys can see have been recently shuffled. And they definitely were already speaking to me. The most high God was kind of pulling out, you know, the decks and the books that it wants to use to speak. Um, angel wisdom, angel messages, I feel. We got some energy. Something down in the Akashic Records um, is going to be revealed. We probably need that little book, too, so we can get a little bit deeper context. Here it is. When we pull the card, I'm feeling. So we're going to couple that. And we also feel Disney villains because we definitely feel a low vibrational type of energy. Um, somebody that... Um, Yeah, I feel they're kind of upset with you, perturbed, disgusted, <laughs> something, beloved. But anywho, this is the Tears and Weep to Roll show where you show enough, never know what you're going to get, beloved. And we, you know, we read for the week, but, you know, the tears be doing their thing, the karmics be real karmic -y. So we have to let you know what's going on in the field and the message that the Most High God wants to give on to you so you can be aware, beloved, so that you can take care of you, you know, raise and lift yourself up and just stay poised and balanced, I feel. Um, yeah, so we are so thankful to the Most High God. Yes, I feel... Ooh. I feel like one hand washing the other, right? Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the ending, they support one another, right? And I'm hearing we are creation. We are everything in between. We are held in the hands thereof all the time. And I feel creation experiencing an ending that's supporting a new beginning, right? And it's like if... Things have to go through this transition in order for us to elevate, to continue to rise up, to rise above the situations. I feel like leveling up. I'm feeling staircases, like step after step after step. And um, I'm here and get prepared for it. Yeah, thank you to the Alpha and Omega for being here, for bringing this message. That which called my life, which called my soul. I thank you so much for protecting me. I thank you so much for the conscious awareness that you are always with me. And with you, with me, I am safe. Always. There is nothing that can happen that you do not allow. Nope. And I am always safe. Page of Coins is here. And we see Four of Wands. Page of Coins. 
I see study or somebody watching. You see, we split up a trail. This deck specifically, we see a Queen of Swords energy. The wheat is in Queen of Swords energy, holding contracts and documents. Probably something to do with this Two of Cups. I'm here in karmic relationships. See, I felt karmic, right? Toxic energy. I feel karmic energy. Karmic energy. Yeah, High Priestess is here. This Queen of Swords, High Priestess energy, Akashic Library is what I'm being told. We see Magician. This person that's this toxic energy, so dark karmic with manipulating tactics. They could be um, spiritually tapped in to like have some awareness of how to use their spiritual tools, their spiritual gifts, but I feel like they use them in a low vibration. Five of Wands, Five of Coins. Whoever this person is definitely feel left out. They feel that regret. I feel a lot of low vibrational um, emotion, emotions, bitterness. I'm seeing the word deceit. See, Five of Swords, they did something deceitful. Win at any cost energy. Pulling out any dagger that they can to somebody who moved away. I'm feeling two layers here. So Queen of Swords moved away from a relationship from a Two of Cups. Maybe it was some secrets revealed and you moved away from the situation, right? From a Two of Cups because you found like this Two of Cups situation was karmic. It was toxic. And somebody... Yeah, I see harvest here, money, investments. Thank you. Three of coins. But I definitely feel like you discovered somebody has some sort of lack or some sort of competition, some sort of chaos and conflict that was ensuing. I feel like somebody tried to betray you or they did betray you after you left the situation. Why is it like that? After every time you leave a situation, somebody do something like they sneaky. And that's what the Five of Swords is. It's like kind of picking up the pieces or stealing stuff after the battle has already taken place. You know, some people can look at it as, you know, cutting and taking, you know, the, the little bit of what's left over so that they can be okay. But in this as, um, aspect, I feel like somebody stole something while the cat was away. While the mouse was away, the cat stole something or something of a sort. I feel like it's a light being shined on this type of source. Like, it's definitely known. It's out in the open. I'm seeing this light being shined down on the daggers, on the truth. Especially that main one, that one in the middle that's really illuminated. Like, everybody knows who did it, is what I'm feeling. Everybody knows who did it. They know that, they know that this person is manipulative. They know that this person is toxic. They know that they betrayed you in some sort of way we it's not a secret it's not i feel like you're not talking to this person you're quiet i feel like having moved away to calmer waters or again once you moved away this person yeah king of coins they may may have been for money because they were at a lack page of coins they may have, I'm feeling three people. It's some with this page of coins, see the star. They may have noticed your potential or that you had something that they wanted, right? Like a light, a beacon, right? And this person, you know, may have sought partnership for the sake of money. I feel, see, seven of cups, confusion, options, you know, took the option to go towards money. Three of Wands. Maybe that's why they targeted you. Like there was a plot, a plan, a vision. They, maybe they were waiting for somebody patiently, waiting for the right person to come along. Yeah, they recognized you as somebody that would fit the deal. They recognized that you were a person that they could target because they were at a lack. 
We see Emperor in reverse. Yeah. This is a very controlling type of person. Very mean, very spiteful. I feel you want this one. See, death. Ooh. Death. So this could be physical death. It could be financial death. This person is going to go through a financial ruin because they targeted you for money, for their lust of money. They entered in some sort of contract with you that they didn't make good on. Ooh. Yeah, nine of coins. See, you were, I feel, abundant. And you had money and you were able to uh, be self-sufficient, I feel. Independent. I feel like um, either this was you before the relationship. But I feel like something happened. Maybe you, you still are. You could be still self-sufficient and independent. But I still feel like somebody broke a contract. Something happened with this contract. So I feel like it's a seven of swords, so lies, you know. See? Seven of cups. This person took a dark option. I feel like they, um... I feel like they, I'm hearing a cup of iniquity. Like they chose to drink from a toxic cup or to serve out toxicity. Yeah. They may have sent something at you. You know, again, they could be a whole magician doing like spells or just word magic. You know what I mean? They could have been into a... Uh, manifestation um rituals and that's not to say like i said like spells and like conjuring potions and stuff like we would see but i'm feeling like um words you know speaking against you um talking to other people about you um creating scenarios and narratives about you. See the hermit. Change of cups. Maybe inside they know that they owe you an apology. But they're too stubborn with this uh, emperor in reverse to give it. You know. You could have also been living alone. You know with the page of cups and you know offering yourself to uh, somebody that was immature. But I feel like, or this person could have been immature in the spirit, you know, within themselves. But really what I'm feeling is the first, you know, like they know they owe you an apology. You know, page of wands, a message. This person may reach out to you, you know. They could have been trying to steal away something or somebody that was going to bring them fortune. You know, that's one thing that um, happened in the Latin. They were trying to get the genie, right? So the genie could give them wishes and fortune, power. See, giving and receiving is something about the exchange. I feel it was a challenge. It was not up and down. It wasn't. Whatever this contract was, whether it was for business, whether it was for... Um, partnership to a cups which we saw i feel like it was a challenge with the giving and receiving i'm hearing you were giving more than you were receiving like they may have really only gave you a page a cup of love like very immature that's what i was feeling too like that energy not only do they know they owe you an apology but i feel like um emotionally stunted like they only had a page of love to give king of cups this king of cups i feel like is not a king they're more of a page like they hold held their emotions back right 
they may have even future fakes. You know, the future is going to be like this without giving you too much of anything. Because you are the one with the money. Queen of coins. Energy I'm feeling. We see ace of coins. We see the chariot. Now, the chariot could be somebody, the spirit coming to move you away. It could be police activity. So, police could have been involved. It could have been a whole lot of issues, a lot of drama, a lot of problems. You see the moon up underneath there. We see strength. And we also see Queen of Coins is still poking out down there at the bottom. So, this person could have caused you a lot of illusions, a lot of problems. You may have had to make a choice. We see divine inspiration is here. You may have had to deal with the passion, you know, um, how you felt about the situation or the fact that the Most High was giving you these downloads to say you need to move away from this. See, two of wands, I feel visions. Like you were seeing things, starting to see things, maybe having to plan to move away, to exit. Eight of coins. Work on what? I'm here working on leaving. Like you may have had to develop a plan, a strategy to leave. Like it wasn't easy. You had to work at leaving. It's something about it. Like maybe you tried to leave more than once. You know. That's it. Okay, three of coins. Maybe you are establishing a new foundation. You know, maybe you had to rush off, but I feel like you had to plan. Maybe this is giving you a new lease on life, you know, a new passion for life, this new foundation that you're establishing. And I'm not for sure, you know, what you're doing, of course. Um, but whatever it is, I feel... Divine inspiration, I feel compassion, I feel like you have a youthful zeal about you again. We see, what is that? Six of Cups. Maybe the, is the past still affecting them? I'm hearing Stella got her groove back. <laughs> like you trying to get your groove back from whatever this was that happened. So how old is Stella was in her 40s, so you could be somewhere around that age. The number four could be significant to you. We see Knight of Cups, a new love offer. We see two of coins coming to balance. We see ten of coins, a lucrative partnership or kingdom work, you know, and we see true love. You know, we do definitely see true love coming down the scenes. But I feel healing, right? Kingdom. Ten of Coins, a successful partnership, right? Like, you guys will be okay financially. You'll have something to leave down as a legacy. I feel you come into balance, again, straight up and down, right? Um, I'm feeling above and below. I feel crown chakra, root chakra, like you being in alignment. And that is probably calling in Knight of Cups. So, I don't know if this is just despite the past. Of course, you'll never be fully healed. But you can get to a point where you're getting to good. I'm hearing usher. Um, we not good, but it's still good or something like that. Destiny. Change. Something changed. Ace of coins. There's an opportunity here. Let's clarify. We see page of fire. That's an it's a message coming in. Message communication, some sort of news or some sort of new inspiration. We see this emperor. Emperor may be getting a message. We definitely feel it in reverse. We crack right on the high priestess right after that. So that's here. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before you act. We see five of air is here. That's that Bible source energy that's down there. An unwise choice. Somebody definitely made an unwise choice. And I feel like it's come to light. 
six of fire. I feel like this person may have recognized you. Victory, good news is on the way. Public recognition or rewards. So you may be somebody that was publicly recognizable, you know what I mean? Like, or just people could recognize, you know, your light, your abundance, you know, the fact that you are fruitful. Like, again, the fruit, people know you by the fruit that you bear, right? And people, you may have been, they may be able to see your fruit, but you may not have seen theirs. Something, because this person was out of lack. Release is here. The end of a phase or a situation. That's the karma. Destiny wheel is changing, releasing. We see the sun here and the five of water. We definitely saw the five of coins and the five of wands. Now we see the five of water. We see queen of earth, somebody that's thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. That's you. But you're definitely sitting in your queen of swords energy right now. I feel very discerning. You know, can't nobody really get nothing past you. I feel like you looking at everything like with a magnifying glass. You want this? Eight of earth. See, that's that eight of coins. I feel like you may have really had to work at something. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. You could be learning something new, but I feel like you learned all you needed to know before you left. King of Earth, somebody again that's that King of Pentacles, somebody that is generally generous, a professional, somebody that's responsible and practical, but I feel like this person wasn't. Like they may have been looking for somebody like that, or maybe they started out like that. No. The Midas touch, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities. They confidently accepted this opportunity. Again, I'm feeling an opportunist, though. Like, they were confident about this opportunity to do whatever they did with you. The world is here. This cycle is over. The path towards enlightenment, I feel. This emperor is being put on the path towards enlightenment. And I feel like it's going to come out of loss. Five of air. Like, it being exposed what they did to, the, to this Empress energy. We see Ace of Fire. An exciting new opportunity is coming. A career advancement. A change to your life. And then there's balance, right? And you may have taken on a lot of burdens with this Ten of, power, ten of Fire. Like, a lot of issues, a lot of problems, too much work, a lot of stress. And it could be um, to sow new seeds, to grow it, to cultivate your lot. You know, we see Ten of Air. That's that betrayal. You know, this person, I feel like, betrayed you in some sort of way. Eight of Water. Because you left the situation, desire to move on. Searching for something more meaningful, right? I feel like you discovered who this person was. A magician, a manipulator, somebody that did not have what they purported to have, what they spoke about having. But they were confident about their opportunity to gain it, to build it, to create it through you or with you in some sort of way. The wheel. That's that destiny wheel coming through. Karma. The wheel is changing. Not only is this cycle complete, like it's ended for this person, ego. They're having an ego death, right? Because they are hard-headed and stubborn, right? I see awakening to a fire and awakening. Maybe the plans, you know, because to a fire, Archangel Gabriel, they really want an awakening right back out. They're definitely being taken on awakening. And you're defending yourself. And we see Queen of Air. That is the Queen of Swords that's down there. I feel, even though she doesn't represent as the Queen of Swords, right? I, that's the energy that I feel with that Seven of Swords. And she is like, looking like, oh, hell nah. Putting some intellect on everything. I'm feeling very Queen of Swords energy. King of Air. 
So not queen of air, but king of air. The most I say, you got that, uh, you have mastered your logic. Like right now you could be thinking your emotions, like you are put your emotions to the side and really got into your head and start thinking about this situation. Speak your mind with confidence, seeking out professional advice, balancing your mental and emotional considerations. That's what I was feeling. Like somebody definitely came out of their emotions and start, once you figured out the truth, you know, the secrets being revealed to you, you step into a king of sword energy, like using your mind instead of your heart. Not even being open to conversation, because like, I feel like you blocked this person out. I said you walked away. Eight of cups out here, walked away, packed the bag and walked away, I feel. Like, you may have not, I mean, I felt like you had a plan on how to move, how to leave. Like, it took you a minute. You may have left more than once. But somebody is definitely financial constraints. They're in it. And they were in it, right? They saw you as an opportunity to build wealth. And they were confident that they could build wealth with you. Yeah, because you were standing at the garden, the gate of the garden. The garden and the gate. You know, I feel like that's your energy. We see angel of love here. You could have been a very loving person. And maybe you will be once you get it to rest and recover. To heal yourself. Get ready to, you know, maybe that's the work that you need to continue to do. So that you can accept this new love offer that will come in. Gabriel is here blowing the trumpet, the horn on this thing. This person is being judged in the spirit. This energy has been heavy. Indecision, and it's in reverse. This person made the wrong choice. They were very decisive about what they chose. They were confident. They were confident that they could make this. They took an opportunity. They were an opportunist. And they saw you as an opportunity. Unfortunately, they they used you as an opportunity to generate wealth. And their lifestyle, I'm here, did a lot. This live this fucking lifestyle. And they broke your heart in the process. You walked away with a broken heart. When you realized what it was, you stepped into that King of Swords energy, used your logic, and you walked away. But I feel like it took you a little while of planning to do it. See, the world. The world card. See, and I feel like we have it here. You know, path towards enlightenment. This person is walking that pathway to enlightenment and they're going alone. And I feel a dark night, like a dark night of the soul. Six chakra. Yeah, this path for them has been written. It's been called. Anything else? Judgment and it's been written. We see fifth and six chakras. Archangel Gabriel and then Metatron. Not only has this been judged, but it's been written, stamped. That said, dot, period, is what I just heard. They all tied up. They tied up and wrapped up in whatever it is that they sold for you. It's been done onto them, and it's been written. Akashic Library is where we're going to next. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this episode. I know, you know what I mean? It'd be like that old school crystal. Sometimes it could start slow, it could start cold. But the most I got, you know, come in and turn the heat up. It do. We see loving elements. I feel somebody chosen an indigo child, I'm feeling. We see Hilarion. This is like, you don't want this. Okay. Definitely feeling um, an indigo child. I feel water. I feel earth. Like you may um, connect to nature. You might connect to, you know, earth, grass, trees. You may have fairies around you, spirits around you all the time. You may be a water sign or connect deeply to water. The sands of time. It's here. 
sins at times. This person got a whole lot of scrolls and they got a contract in their hand and they looking at this hourglass. I feel like it's something with that. Past unknown. I don't know what that was. It just stopped. Right? It just literally just stopped. So I don't know if the hourglass then ran out like they're out of time because there's definitely not any more sand in here. And the song was still playing. So I, I don't know why it just cut off. It still had space. Path unknown is here. So it's something about this path. I feel somebody, see look, they're both, oh wow. Okay, so look, both of these people have like, she's got a whole bucket, a bag full of contracts and scrolls. And he got a bucket back here too, and there's one in the hand. So eight of scrolls and six of scrolls. You want the book? Yeah, the news. And we see the waterfall, definitely feel water on this. The Sands of Time is 121, and then the Path I Know is 126. Most I take is light to it, basically. The Sands of Time, an upright, no. You want the reverse. You have more time than you think, so there's no need to hurry. The sun is rising in the east on a new day, and the hourglass is full. The task at hand may require more research and follow through, so take all the time you need. You may even have the opportunity to investigate further to connect with others who can help. So take a breath. You've got plenty of time to explore. So you have plenty of time to explore. There's no need to rush something. Maybe you took time to explore something, to work something out before you left. I'm not for sure. Path unknown. You want this. The Akashic message is close your eyes and watch the energy of time. It feels almost as if you can ride it as it flows through your day. I hear you can see it. Like you might can see time. Lift in your excitement and your enthusiasm and your energy. Feel this now and realize that wherever, whatever you have to do, time is your gift and your tool. So if you have things to do, if there was something that went awry or went wrong with a business contract, you still have time to do it. Whatever you um, had contracted to do, you still have time. Path unknown in the upright. Woodland animals gather around a woman who stands in a small clearing in the forest. The fork before her breaks into three separate paths. The middle is clear and bright. The left is much darker with more trees and growth. And the right is dappled by sunlight with a few shadows falling here and there across it. This card reveals that you've been traveling on a path that's known to you. And it shows you the way to the expected outcomes. But there are two other paths that aren't as clear. Remember, if you stay with only the known and seemingly safe, you won't catch the unseen opportunities that can come your way. Some options may be unexpected but and perhaps a little risky. So don't be attached to your agenda that you miss them. Happily, during this phase, you can investigate unknown paths and make the decision that lie before you with confidence. You are flexible and brave enough to step into the shadows, but stay alert. Extraordinary opportunities abound in the least expected places. So maybe you took this pathway 
not really understanding, you know, which way to go, and you traveled a, a unknown pathway, a darker road, maybe you took a risk in going into this relationship, and, you know, I feel like this person did something, obviously, to betray you. They were lying, they were sneaky, they were argumentative, they were stubborn, they were controlling, they were bossy, they um, drank from a cup of iniquity. And karma has been called on this person. Now, maybe the cycle that they were coming out of, no, but maybe because of what they did, they're now having a dark night of the soul. You could have been the person to come into their life to awaken them and wake them up so that Gabriel can call judgment and do this thing. But I feel like if they don't go through this dark night, then they won't mature. Or maybe this was their dark night and they still made the wrong choice and they did not choose to raise themselves up. Maybe they chose to stay stuck to their own backwards thinking and mindset, old beliefs. I feel that emperor, stubborn, controlling, like holding fast to their own mindset, egocentric. You know, it's got to be my way. I'm feeling somebody that's like very, uh, you know, let me tell you kind of person, you know, and because of that, they are getting some sort of judgment, waterfall, if you want this, so let's read that, waterfall, one seventy six. Reverse. Reverse. This card indicates a situation where you're feeling a significant loss of power. So somebody is feeling a significant loss of power. Yeah, King of Keys. Somebody is feeling a significant loss of power. It says... This waterfall reverse shows that you are emo in an emotionally reactive time. You're feeling very emotionally reactive and emotionally driven. You may feel like your life's turned totally upside down, or you may have unintentionally given your power to someone else, whether it's a lover, yeah, a boss, a family member, or a friend. It says, I feel like they the exchange, right? Whatever they were doing to you is now being done to them. So if they were hoarding power over you because they were egocentric, then now this person feels powerless in this situation. It says, perhaps you are following another person's agenda in spite of your own intuition not to do so. In a more extreme form, you may have given up completely. They may have given up but I don't necessarily feel like they've given up. I feel like they are just stuck to their mindset and they refuse to move. So it's not like necessarily giving up, giving up. They just won't participate in change. It says falling into a depression. That dark night, they're in a depression. Living according to the dictates of another. No, they're dictating it themselves. It's imperative that you rise up and take your power back. Maybe that's what the judgment is, you know, for them to hear the horns who raise themselves up. Maybe it's written for them to do something else or to um, come back into alignment is what I'm hearing. But I feel like they may remain in a sunken place because they're in this depressed state. They have the opportunity to raise themselves up. Each of us do. But whether they're going to do it or not, I don't know. It says, um, it may seem foreign for you to do so, but it's a lesson that your soul longs to learn. Yeah. See, it feels foreign for this person because of their ego for them to take this lesson, to take um, the learning and apply it, to let go of 
um, their old beliefs, to give that up, to relinquish it, to surrender, to surrender. Because they feel like that they are, you know, that emperor boss energy. And they're somebody that's held bent and held fast to their own mindset. And it could be backwards thinking. And they're being called to renew their mindset. Um, they are experiencing the fruits of their own labor. So if they work to put you at a loss, breaking contracts, breaking promises, um, causing you to walk away from them, you could choose to walk away or not. You could choose to stay. But I feel like you chose to be like, I'm not dealing with this itch. And so now I feel like others in their life are choosing not to deal with them. They are in financial constraint. They are feeling at a loss. They are feeling at a lack, left out, you know, because they made the wrong decision going down this track. They chose to be an opportunist and, 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 and target you because you are recognizably successful, I feel. Is that right? Yes. Anything else in here? No. The Ascended Masters and Oracle Healing Deck. Oracle. You see purple and white. Definitely feeling somebody that is um, having a sense of royalty or they may feel like they have a sense of royalty or entitlement. You are fulfilled inside and out. That is the lesson that they are being taught, that their abundance comes from the inside out, not from the outside in, that they can't target other people to give them to make their wishes come true. And they're being called to see the bigger picture, that there's a hidden message in this whole thing. We see megalithic, and we also see that somebody has the key that they have the key. They have the key to unlock them their own self if they would just take the message. You are divinely connected to us. That's for you, we, somebody. Again, I feel you're at peace, but I feel that you are somebody that's gifted, right? Been called and chosen since childhood, connecting with nature, serenity. We see serenity and we see peace that cannot be bought. You may have been in a very peaceful place and we do see passed down gifts. So you are divinely connected to the spirits and you have passed down gifts. Anything else in here? Lagoos is here. I feel like you're mastering your gifts. And again, it's not too late for you to step into your calling. It's not. Maybe you're right on time for it. It says, we love you more than you could imagine. That's a message from your ancestors. You are a leader of divine beings. You have leadership qualities. It could be why this person, you're valuable. See, it could be why this emperor in reverse had issue with you. Because I feel like you are a leader yourself. Having, I'm feeling like emperor, empress energy. But... I feel like you, right now, I, I saw Empress, I think, flip out, Angel of Love. But I feel like with you being in King of Sword energy, that you have morphed and or that you are more masculine than anything. You could be a masculine. I'm not for sure the dynamics of the situation. Angel numbers for the karmic. The Most High God is saying pay attention to angel numbers. They could be speaking to you, trying to give you a message, you know, um, reveal this hidden message, reveal to you the key through numbers and synchronicities. We see eat healthy and we see zealous. You know, raise your vibration week by eating foods that are close to life, you know, as live as you can get. We see energy rising. For most I said that was it. There's nothing else in here. Definitely energy rising. I feel like if you eat healthy, it would help you increase your energy. So if you're feeling a little sluggish, eat healthier.
do things by the book. Things are being lined up. We see Treasure Island. Definitely somebody carries a gift, a treasure. The wheat does. You could be a person that does things by the book, right? Especially with all these scrolls and contracts. High Priestess energy secrets being revealed. I feel um, you have a lot of knowledge. You know, very intellectual, especially that King of Swords energy. Somebody that likes to do it straight up and down. That six of coins straight up and down, right by the book. The two of pentacles in this deck is right up and down, right by the book. Everything in alignment. Yeah, no peace like home and poise for success, I feel. Do you want one? There's a message. We saw a page of wands. A message is coming in. We see hidden message for the karmic and a message is coming in to the wheat. So this situation is dark side of the soul definitely has a hidden message for the karmic. Like they could come out of this state. Um, but I feel like they're going to go through a karmic cycle first. This dark night. If they're going to go through a contraction. No peace like home. I feel like you may have peace or you may be generating a peaceful home. Um, again, that ten of coins is down there with a love offer. Community is here. And we see truth be told. That's like that ace of swords clarity. Look, it's your fate. That's the truth. A soulmate. A destined soulmate. It's coming in. You being that yin, maybe you'll step into that yin energy. Again, I feel you very masculine right now, like yang, like um, I'm going, I'm going to give it to you type of energy. Um, not taking nobody's bullshit, you know, thoughts over emotions, you know, very bros over type energy, bros over hoes type energy. You don't have to be a dude, but I'm feeling that. See? Yeah. Right back. I feel trust. Trust what you're going to receive. Open up to receive. Allow the Most High God support into you to continue healing, helping you heal and recover from the situation so that you can trust again. Right? So that you can open your heart back up. See? Open your heart back up. Loyalty. We see regeneration, right? Because you have a very good heart, but you're just protecting it right now. And we see peace again. Peace. We already saw peace. We see chaos and conflict. That's what this person, this karmic, was bringing. They were. Anything else in here? This one. Imagine. Imagine. I'm here. What is that? Tracy Spencer song. Imagine all uh, the people living. What did she say? Living, living for today. Like not being worried about time. Being carefree. Living in the moment. Understanding that you're complete. You know. And that you don't have to hurt anybody or anything. Like, treat each other how you want to be treated type energy. It's starting, somebody, um, the most I got wants somebody to do a reading on themselves. Maybe you should get this deck and do a reading on you. It says to question what's on your mind. You know, to start with that question. It could be as simple as what do you want to know? Or it could be something more specific. I'm feeling like the Most High God is telling you to question. To question, um, not only get this deck, potentially, right? 
but also ask it questions so that you can start to see what's going on inside of you. Maybe you could be overthinking or just be locked in a thought process and not really able to see what's a process next. Like, again, I'm getting an energy of healing, but not really healed. Like, again, thinking the emotion and not really feeling the world. That will bring you to a completion and help you close out the cycle or help you as you go into this next cycle so that you can call in or really receive that um, what your heart desires. I feel like your heart is blocked by your thoughts. And the Most High said, this is the deck, is Angel Wisdom to Roll. So if you're interested in buying it, I got it off of Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. And maybe, you know, use whatever card or deck of cards resonates with you. This is the recommendation. But it will speak to you. And you can pull a one card answer. Do you want to? No. Okay. It says, Archangel Jophiel. And I think they are out here. They are. Wow. Archangel Jophiel. Can y'all see that? Right here at the top underneath the world. Archangel Jophiel. So this Archangel definitely is being invoked, being dispatched to speak right and the message for the karmic could be to you know a, a false sense of entrapment but somebody else could be thinking this too negative or fear-based thoughts right so maybe this is something to help with that archangel jophiel jophiel is here to help you celebrate your amazing success Rose petals rain down upon you as a reminder that you are a perfect child of the divine. Wholeness, completion, epiphany. These are words that describe the world card. It's a time of joyful peace. And we've seen peace come out a couple times, right? The energy of peace. We saw peace that cannot be bought in this deck. We saw peace and we also see no peace like home so heavy energy on peace so maybe this is a message to help you move towards peace by releasing some of the mental rumination metamor metamor meta you don't want that what part you have the magic <laughs> you have the magic touch at this time able to either repeat past happy experiences or create brand new ones the choice is yours. However, in the meantime, add your own applause to the chorus of angels. Bravo. Additional meanings of this card. Total clarity. Cosmic awareness. A journey that is now at a joyful end. Great achievements. New beginnings. The freedom to go in any direction. A sense of completion. So you may still be caught up in your head thinking about, you know, this whole past scenario, the fact of what happened, you know, they messed up the contract, the business, the agreement, whatever the case may be. But the message here is that you still have time to do what it is that you want to do with that six of scrolls. You are gifted. And we see the world card out here a couple of times to say that um, you can move forward into this next cycle successfully. You are a person that has shown that you can take the path unknown because I felt like you took the darker road. Maybe it didn't work out the way that you thought it was going to work out, but it was definitely a, um opportunity here for you that you may not have discovered had you take taken the safer road, the one that already was lit up. Anything else in here? Anything else? We shuffled the deck and it landed on two, 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 two. That's feminine forces, talks to relationships, balance, prosperity, all the elements that we've been talking about in this reading. Is 
is this angel number for them? No, it's for them. This is for the karmic. The karmic going through the dark night of the soul. Hidden message is what I'm feeling. Hidden messages inside of the angel numbers to show you that you have the key. And look, uh, I can't make it up. That's a lot of energy. We see the energy of reflection. Reflect. Think about what has happened. You know, several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. Impacting how you feel. And we saw that depression come out. You know, you could get really depressed. But this is a, a chance to reevaluate your identity. You can come away from that mindset, the stubbornness, become more flexible, accept the lessons, and move forward. And as you apply them to your life, you see how it became a blessing. Compassion. Give yourself some compassion at the same time. You may be seeing two, two. And we had two, 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 two at first. Now we see two, two. We see reflect, you know, needing a mental shift towards greater optimism and self-assurance and trust. Put faith in your gut and your inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. That's for the karmic. the time of reflection as they are in this dark night of the soul. They are not having a good time. They are not. And the Most High God is saying the judgment has been called. It's already been written that you go through this cycle. Um, wow. Take action. The action to take is to reflect. reflect so that you can regain your personal power I feel we see somebody has unique skills you are definitely somebody with a gift and we see blessings in disguise and that's what we said this was a blessing in disguise beloved you would not have had this opportunity had you not taken this role it's up to you. It's this karmic person, again, we see twos and ones, sixes, right? Look, we saw this energy, and now we see them combined, right? It's up to you. It's up to you to come out of this. Every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess. So if the Most High God is calling judgment and it's been written point blank period, you either bend the knee and you surrender to what the Most High God, the Spirit, is calling you to do and make amends, recompense, repent, or you will lead yourself down a state of damnation. And it's time for you to take action. This is a call to action, to move forward. And the sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do, which is come to peace, healing, balance, to release yourself from being all tied up. And the next one up underneath there is the sacral chakra. Like, you talking about kingdom, the entrance, and you are bound up. We all live in the kingdom, but what space you at in it, beloved? Because there's levels to this. There's levels. And you wrapped up in your own mind seeing hell all around you because that's what's inside of you. You are leaning yourself into the hellish things, the low vibration, instead of rising yourself up. The gut feeling. Five, five, five. Change sacral chakra that gut is calling you to change the gut is calling you to change five 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 we saw five of coins we saw five of wands we see financial constraints we see five of cups what is that five of cups that's a page five of coins twice and five of wands 
swift action. They're saying do it now. Take the action and do it quickly. It's not beneficial for us to move from a standpoint that we always have time. We saw that hourglass light up in cycles. This person is having mood swings, right? We see cycles of karma, right? Warning, judgment, influence, you know, cycles, rebirth, karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. That's that emperor in reverse. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make space for new experiences. That's literally what I just said, beloved. Make, learn the lessons. Learn the lessons. You're being called to learn the lesson. I don't know who you are or why the most high God is calling me to bring this message. But we do pray for all of creation. We do. We pray for the fallen too. You know, those who have failed because I'm hearing we fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. They chose to get up. They chose to take the lesson. Yeah, it hurt. You might have skimmed the knee or, you know what I mean? You might have lost something. You may have dropped some things, you know, whatever the case may be. But whatever hurt you went through by falling, is supposed to hurt. You're supposed to heal, feel and heal and get back up. The Most High God, if we fall seven times, the Most High God forgive us eight. You can get up again, Ashe. Anything else, Lelaya? Yes. There. Just happen to see sacral chakra activation. Allowance. Allow. Allow yourself to go through this process. Sacral allowance. Magic. Somebody has that magic. That's you with the, with the um, spiritual gifts. Receiving this blessing in disguise. You may not have even known you know, who or what you were or any of it. Like I said, it gave you some sort of realization. You may not have even known, right? And you don't even know what's coming. You don't. Crown chakra. The Most High God is going to speak to you, you know? I feel like the Most High God is speaking to this person, working with them to wake them up. And I feel like they used you, knowing that you would be courageous enough to go down that dark path, to enter into this darkness. And everything unfolded the way that it needed to so that it could have the effect on them and on you. It was a blessing in disguise, I feel, for both of you. But this person has to choose to get up. Earth. Like I said, somebody is connected to Earth. Like, stay grounded, stay rooted, you know. It says, a deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our great mother, revealing the ethereal and spiritual aspects of our nature. And that's what I was feeling on this Elementals card right here, loving Elementals. Like somebody that had a deep connection to Earth grass and green and trees and water. You might see, like I said, other spirits, you know, fairies and stuff like that. Starting fresh is here. A commitment to starting fresh. This one. Soul time. This person is, you know, being dealt with in the soul. They spirit is not supposed to be settled. You're going to feel uneasy. You're going to feel out of sorts, like you can't rest because your spirit is not going to allow you to rest until you get up, beloved. You stronger than this is what I'm saying, what I'm heard, what I'm hearing. Prosperity for you, we that completed this cycle with your heart, light, perception. You may have gained a different perception. You see things differently. It may, again, um, they may be being called to see things differently. See, throat chakra and I, third eye chakra. Speak and see differently. Speak what you see. Can you imagine? Look at that. The most high God right there behind there. 
Can you imagine that the Most High God would still use you after all that you've done? Everything that you put other people through will clean you up and still use you. Absolutely. You caught between two worlds right now, beloved, being called out of the dark and into the light. But the time is here. The time is now to do it. I feel like you, we also, that the Most High God is giving you time back. You may feel like, again, your business or your situation or, you know, whether it was life, whether it was divorce or business, business or whatever the case may be that this person took from you, that it can't be done, that, you know, the time on it has ran out because of whatever this person did. Most High God said, them six of scrolls, you still got time. Merkaba. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance. Six of Scrolls, Akashic Tarot, activating in your access to your Akashic inheritance. Your Akashic inheritance is still valid, it's still good, and there's still time for you to reap the rewards, the benefits of all of your work. It says, emerges the totality of our experiences into our present, into the present now, like not the future, not another lifetime, but now this lifetime. And it's going to serve your highest purpose, your highest purpose. And that's it. That's what we have for you guys on this evening. We appreciate you for sticking it through. If you made it through, please do leave a comment. Let me know it resonate. I mean, we got a couple of things. We got a hashtag TikTok. You know, hashtag is worth the wait. Hashtag blessing in disguise, beloved. Hashtag we fall down, but we get up. Hashtag we get up. Let's just shorten it. You know what I mean? Hashtag we get up. Can you see that? That you still have the opportunity to get up, beloved. You don't have to be all tied up. That's something in your mind. You can unwrap yourself by changing your mindset, by repentance and changing your thoughts, your speech, and your behaviors to match, beloved. Coming into alignment. Hashtag alignment. Hashtag 444. Hashtag 2222. I thank you guys so much again. You know, I'm, I'm been called to slow down so I can get this out and it's clear and we don't miss anything because this is a lot. These messages have definitely been heavy. And I feel like one of the, I know, I know that the Most High God is going to bring the person to hear this message to this space to receive it. I pray that your spiritual ears and eyes are open so that you can see and that you can hear and that you can feel it. Open up your heart to feel it. Right? To know that again, everybody fuck up, everybody mess up, but forgiveness is here. When you decide that you are going to turn away from those low vibrational things to raise yourself up to do things the right way first ask for forgiveness to say it say it out to your angels out to the most high god to confess it to them they already know what it is right but we say it to get it off of our chest to get it out beloved and then that allows you ask for that help to come in Help soothe your heart to comfort as you start, as you move through this dark night. You have help to get through it. And you are never alone, beloved. We are never alone. Your angels and help is speaking to you through angel numbers, through numbers and synchronicities, signs and synchronicities. Look at those numbers and see if you're going the right way, beloved. You're seeing 666 six, six is telling you to reflect, to look at self. Not that it's like you a demon or a devil or some shit. No, it means to look, to reflect, to see what you can change about self so that you can move towards your highest self, coming up out the dark and into the light. 
getting that stuff up off your heart so it can be light, light as a feather. Then you will see how you can uh, generate your own abundance from the inside out, being fulfilled inside out. Being fulfilled inside out that is already with you. See, the frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connections to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. You can transmute all of this negative energy into light and the Most High God will use you. It is calling you out of the dark and into the light. Take action. Take action. I'm hearing the Most High God loves you with all of its might. And it is with you as you go through this dark night. Yes. Thank you again for joining me. This is your girl, Lati, here at Tears and We Throw Show. You show enough, never know what you're going to get. It's been a deep message, beloved, and I thank you so much for sticking through it. I love you. I love you. I love you. Just like I love me because I love the Alpha and the Omega that called me and gave me this decree to be the infinite intelligence, breathing, word, resurrected this day. This one's done to the next hour. I share.